What's up, everybody? Anthony here, SpecialtyMotorCars.net. And behind me, you can see another Cadillac. This is of the newer flavor, um, two-door, kind of a modern Eldorado or modern Coupe de Ville, we'll say. This is a 2011 Cadillac CTS Performance Coupe, uh, or Coupe, uh, as the people who say Cartier would say. Um, this is a 25,000-mile car, one-owner car, finished in crimson red absolutely gorgeous example um i you know i don't do newer cadillacs often and usually if i do it's an, a dts or something like that i've always wanted one of these cts coupes had an opportunity to buy this one right here it's in my color it's in my mileage it's gorgeous let me show it to you and tell you all about it in this walk around video totally appreciate everybody for watching if you haven't subscribed yet I think it's down in this corner. I don't know. I always point to the wrong corner. Hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Let's get into it. And here she is, an absolutely beautiful crimson red 2011 Cadillac CTS Performance Coupe. All wheel drive, absolutely gorgeous example. One owner car, 25,000 mile car. Uh, this car has kind of always been a bucket list car for me. I always admired the sharp lines and stuff that were uh, designed when or that these cars have when these cars were designed and i kind of always wanted one i've had the coupes i'm mean, sorry i've had the sedans haven't had a wagon the wagons really don't throw me although i do know the wagons are quite you know in demand uh but this coupe i just i always love the style of the coupe not sure about you know practicality you know with a daughter in a car seat but always wanted one had an opportunity at this one owner example, and I took full advantage of said opportunity. Uh, this is a direct injection 3.6 liter all wheel drive coupe that I have since named Janice after her original owner. Uh, this car was bought new at Cadillac of Greenwich, Connecticut. It was owned in Greenwich, Connecticut its whole life by Janice. Unfortunately, Janice passed away just last year at the tender age of 83. She was an IBM executive and this was her car. So probably a lifelong Cadillac owner and I can only imagine the type of Cadillacs that Janice had throughout her life. Uh, so in memory of Janice, this is her beautiful 2011 Cadillac CTS Coupe. Uh, faithfully serviced its whole life at Cadillac of Gren Greenwich. I wanna say Greenwich. Green Greenwich, Connecticut. Um, Carfax on this car shows her as a one owner and it shows 37 service records. So she kind of over serviced this thing. I mean, it's a synthetic motor oil car that wouldn't need oil changes for five, 6,000 miles. And obviously she oil changed it all the time uh, based off of time and not mileage, coolant flushes, Basically, anything that was recommended was always dealer serviced. Uh, she took great care of the car. <sighs> you know, I, I don't know if I'm going to stumble over words with this one because I don't know a ton about like the performance aspects of these coupes, but I'm going to go through it. I'm going to do a walk around like I am here and kind of show you some of the features. I might miss a few things, so if I misspeak, correct me in the comments. Um, but I, I know these fairly well. It's just I'm not an expert, uh, and I never um, claim to be. Um, you know, I would almost think that because this was a two-door, limited production for years, that this would have been the new body style Eldorado or Coupe de Ville. Um, and that's how I see it, even though the CTS, I believe, was originally based off the Patera, um, if I remember correctly. Uh, but she's a beautiful crimson red. One of my favorite Cadillac colors. It's probably actually my favorite Cadillac color. Um, and it's in phenomenal shape. I did just get a little wind to come through and blow those little whirly burl helicopter things all over the car. Um, but we got her wiped down. So I'm going to show you around the car. Only a few minor imperfections on this car. Um, beautiful. I think these are 20-inch wheels. 18-inch wheels. Uh, brand new Michelin tires, brand new Michelin Pilot Sports. I just had those babies mounted, uh, front and back. Beautiful 18 inch alloy wheels. Uh, I like the clean lines down the side with no, um, 
you know, outer mounted door handle. It's got the electronic door handles, nice clean window frames. And then the very aggressive rear end styling on this car. Uh, just absolutely beautiful with the jeweled style. LED V-shaped brake light. You know, the whole thing is kind of in like a V shape. It's not a V. Uh, and then the dual port uh, center, excuse me, center exhaust, I think is super, super cool. So like I said, this is an all wheel drive version indicated by the four there. Uh, otherwise they would be a rear wheel drive version. So this is a car you can literally get in and drive every day. This isn't a, you know, a specialty. Well, it is a specialty motor car, but it's not a, you know, I don't think these are really collector's items per se. This would be a great car. I mean, it'd be a cool Sunday driver. That's for sure. Don't, don't get me wrong, but it's a 2011 CTS. So, um, you know, I don't know the level of special this car is, but you can see those beautiful Michelins. Uh, anyway, so let's go around. I'm going to show you some minor imperfections. Start on the hood here. Absolutely gorgeous paint on this car. Um, really, anything you see here is really just dust from ay, 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 ay. <laughs> from the tree just blowing all that shit all over the car. You can see it all over the ground here. Uh, but you got your traditional Cadillac art and science grill of this era. I do like how it's the crest and wreath, and I like how these ones don't really fade. You can see the colors real nice in this. Um, both lower and upper grills. All the little chrome teeth are there. It does have the uh, fog lights with the chrome surrounds and then the uh, HID headlights. And these are the road sensing headlights. So they turn as the wheels turn. They got a nice cool white LED strip that goes up and down the side here. Just a really nice headlight design. Uh, fog lights down here with the chrome bezels. You can see a little bit of a rash right there, a little chip. Uh, Another one right here on the slower fender or the slower bumper piece. Um, aside from that, I think that's the only one there. The paint on the hood here. Just had this one professionally detailed um, by my outside detailer, Sean Marvel at Marvel Detail. Uh, did a great job cleaning this one up. Has the portholes or kind of vent ports. No chips or really anything going on here. Uh, beautiful, like I said, Michelin Pilot Sports. These are just put on 03 of 23, so those are about as fresh as fresh can be. Uh, match set, beautiful, uh, kind of like a silvery gray alloy wheel. And I mean, you can see how flat and straight the doors are, no dings or anything like that. Uh, even on the mirrors, absolutely beautiful paint on the mirrors. Original GM windshield. Can see there and like i point out on a lot of the cars that i know were garage you can see here the windshield wiper arms have a nice sheen to them for that um matte finish from the factory these little guys i hate these things but just the season right like it right there um one small defect on the roof here let me wipe this here you can kind of see this little guy it's like it's not really a scratch, but it's almost kind of like an indented little scuff right there. I think I, now I'm losing my focus. It's right there. It's very, very minor, but it is there on the roof. Uh, aside from that, the rest of the roof is in beautiful shape. It's got the little shark fin antenna. Yeah, the side here, even all the side skirting no scars or you know curb marks there come up over the quarter as the push to pop gas lid uh what do we got in the back here 265 45 zr18s michelin pilot sports brand brand brandy new probably got 300 miles on them because i did drive this a little bit after i serviced it but you can see here no curb marks on the wheels the wheels are in beautiful shape and like I said, I love that sharp design of this uh, C-pillar, how it kind of rakes down and then incorporates the taillight and shoots it right down there. I like how the rear quarters kind of bubble out on the back here. Sharp, aggressive lines on the rear bumper. It does have the rear parking aid sensors. 
Also does have a backup camera here. Uh, I'll show you that in a minute. That illuminates on the uh, rear view cam uh, back uh, rear view camera. Rear view mirror shows this backup camera. Um, GM tempered glass there. Really sloped uh, rear like window. Um, obviously, they didn't make this car for rear visibility <laughs> being the, the number one priority, but it's actually not that bad to drive. I've, I've probably put, I think I put like 800 miles on this car. Um, and uh, it was actually fun to drive. The only thing I didn't quite like about it is putting my daughter in, well, putting the car seat there. Once the car seat was in the back, it wasn't that bad. And she absolutely loved this car. She, she said it was the Batmobile. Uh, beautiful jeweled style V-shaped third brake light. Uh, rear crest, yeah, a little bit of fade in that red, not too, too bad. Got the chrome Cadillac trim there. Underneath here is a pop to, well, door, it's probably not unlocked, but there is an electronic pop there to pop the trunk. Like I said, CTS-4. Come down here, there's no marks in the bumper or anything like that. Real, real sharp corners. I mean, look at that beautiful red paint. I absolutely love this color. You add a tan cloth top in some white type of white walls to this, that would be my style. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, no. I actually, I have seen one of these or maybe two coupes. Um, ENG Classics did make um, a cloth top for these cars for a cloth top kit. I feel like I'm chasing my tail here, wiping this thing down. Um, and. I mean, I love cloth tops, don't get me wrong, but obviously you gotta draw a line at some point. <sighs> oh man. Okay, I promise I'm done. Anyways, back to these wheels and tires. Beautiful 18 inch wheel, again, wrapped up in new Michelins. A little bit of spray inside here, you can see from yellow road paint, uh, but really just in the fender liner. There's not on the side of the car. Again, I pointed out on the other side, these have electronic door handles, so you just reach your hand in there. Window comes down. Pretty little neat setup. Roof over on this side. Down the glass. And nice shape. No chips or cracks or anything like that. Does have a little little guy right there on the edge of the wind uh, mirror. Again, all the lower paneling is all in nice shape. Has a nice chrome Cadillac Ventaport. I think that's what they call that on this car. Uh, Ventaport. Yeah, another beautiful, brand new Michelin. Uh, and again, just on this side, here you can see. Oh, there it is. It's a little bit. The massive chest caught a little bit of an edge of a painted stripe that was just being painted, but like I said, there's no, there's no paint on the lower portion of the car at all. One little flaw, you can see like a little stress crack right there, or like maybe a chip. It's not a chip, I mean it's smooth, um, but there's a little mark right there on the corner of the front light beautiful clear lights uh, a little chip right there I think that's about it for marks on this I mean it's very very minor uh, one thing I will say oops, right around now. one thing I will say about that light I've put 800 miles on this car I've had it for probably three or four months at least there's never been any condensation or any kind of you know water intrusion in these lights so I, I think that's superficial um, you know, definitely not cracked that it lets moisture in because I would have replaced it at this point by now. Uh, but yeah, so there she is. Beautiful red Cadillac CTS Performance Coupe. I'm going to show the inside of this sweet two-door and we'll take it for a spin. So diving on in, open up these big coupe doors and you can see a beautiful, kind of like a, mm, I don't know, sandstone. I'm just pulling colors out of my hat here, the hat that I'm not wearing. Uh, it's like a beige, cashmere-ish, tan color uh, with a darker, almost looks like a black 
or dark brown um, two-tone real nice with the stitching throughout um, it's kind of cool how they have these set up with the power release uh, door um, handles and I know what everybody's gonna say in the comments oh, I don't want to have a car with power release door handles because what happens if I drive it into the river and I can't get out well right here you can see there's another power release that's your normal go-to put your thumb right on it we'll pop that right open like the Corvettes have, you have a manual release as well that will release that. Now I know what you're gonna say now. Well, what happens if the battery in the car is dead or the fob but we can't get in? I'll show you that um, in a little while. Believe me, Cadillac did think of everything. Uh, power windows, power mirrors, power locks, memory seat functions. Uh, right in here is the power trunk release. Uh, dual power seats forward, back, up, down, tilt, and then the lumbar function. Leather's in nice shape. A little bit of creasing and leather wear on kind of this edge bolster here. Perforated leather. I do like the Cadillac kind of Chevron V there design. Um, on the side here, you can see just a little spot on this is vinyl. When they say leather seating surfaces, that means this. Uh, this, just a little itty bitty crack right there. Kind of a common spot to see. Um, especially on a two-door car. Um, you know, there's a lot of sliding in and sliding out going on uh, in a car like this, but beautiful Cadillac sill plate. A little bit of wear, oh, nope. Just tucked under the, just tucked under the black trim. Uh, gaskets are all in nice shape, all inside the door jams. Nice and clean, all the gasket through here. Nice and tight, real quiet on the highway. It's a frameless door. So you put both windows down. And you got the frameless door. Real cool. Where are these built? World's best is one team, one goal, Lansing. So Michigan built car, Bose sound system, nice clean um, carpeting, leather wrapped wheel, really nice aggressive wheel with the wood trim on the top. Tons of buttons. Show you what all that's about. Nice leather or probably vinyl-ish type material wrapped dash pad with the stitching. I think that's pretty cool. Another thing that I think is cool, it has the release here for the rear seat. Then it has this power button. So if you're like me with my daughter on the other side, you can power the seat forward and back. You can see there the nice clean carpeting. It has a rear little map pocket, but kind of like little bucket seats in the back here. Um, probably not the most adult friendly back seat. You know, this is more for a car. It doesn't take a lot of back seat passengers, but the back seats are there and it's two passengers. So there's no squeezing a third. You have a center console with dual cup holders there, but they even have the little Cadillac Chevron emblems or uh, V emblems on the seats, which I think is real neat as well. Put this guy back here. I'm gonna zip over to the passenger side. Trunk is ajar. I know the trunk is ajar. But how can the trunk be ajar if it's a trunk? Inside this jam, nice and clean. Again, the Cadillac script. Got all the weather stripping and gaskets are in really, really nice shape, nice and tight. Door panels, absolutely beautiful. Again, you get the power release here, your windows, locks, bows, a Bose sound system. Beautiful door cards or door panels. And that dash, I do love the dashes. Very, very sleek design, the way it kind of just winds right into the center here. Um, real nice Bose system. You can see the speakers, the subwoofers. Uh, this car has a really, really nice system. Uh, super, super nice carpeting over here on the passenger side. Footwell as well. Footwell as well. Again, another manual door release in the event of an emergency. Uh, nice, beautiful leather. A little bit of a... I don't know if there's something chipped on the spot. A little, yeah, I think there was just a little bit of goop right there. Just came off. Center stack. Actually, I should finish showing you the seat first. Seat, power, again, flips, 
power forward and then just like on the other side nice clean back seat you can see that little guy i should have my pointer out for this that little guy right there um that is to fold down both of these seats fold down i think it's a 60 40 split but essentially to uh, put any kind of large items in the trunk you also have the rear climate control vents as well i'm gonna put this seat back power it back nice headliner throughout the car all right let's jump behind the drivers or jump in the driver's seat jump behind the wheel show you what she looks like from that perspective all right so we're behind the wheel of this phenomenally well air conditioned two door it's getting a little warm out there today uh, and i can show you my key situation uh, so i have two keys or they actually key fobs but they do have keys hidden inside you push this little button here but essentially so you don't need actual keys to start you have a little turn knob the fob has to be in the car And there you go, 25,891 miles on this Cadillac CTS Coupe. It does have a power tilt telescoping wheel. What am I doing here? Oh, can't have your foot on the pedal, I guess. Nope. Yep, up, down, forward, back. Your cruise settings, heated steering wheel, um, audio controls, and probably for like uh, maybe some type of on star or phone uh, like i said this button here push pop the windows are auto both up and down uh, on star and up there you have map lights garage door openers all your little buttons over here to control your readouts and stuff like that trip meters uh, fuel range trip trip uh, car information, parking assist, voltage, oil life. How do I go back? There we go. So there's some cool stuff there. Your lights, your wipers over here on this stock. Uh, one of the cool things about this CTS, it's got like the ambient interior lighting package where it has like a little LED strip that runs into this wood trim here. And then the same on this side, which is real cool at night. Um, dual zone climate control with heated and cooled uh, front seats. And then the dual zone, you can control each side here. All through here, really simple. And Radio, you know, buttons, all your presets are up here. Nice center clock there, CD, all that good stuff. Um, as far as other things that I have, bottle of touch-up paint, it might be old. I haven't even tried to crack it open. Um, officially licensed Cadillac hand sanitizer compliments of Cadillac of Greenwich, Connecticut. Uh, obviously, once you brought it in for service, and then the original owner's book as well. Uh, kind of cool, the little glove box design here, just a little push button, pushes that. In the center console here, you have uh, some storage. You have a little key slot here, and it's a little funny story I have about this car with this key slot. I'll tell you that in a minute. Uh, USB connectivity, a little charging po uh, port, right there and I think the center opens those are my microphones they don't come with the car unless I forget them and then they come with the car but no guarantees we'll pop that trunk pop the hood inside the trunk here pretty spacious for a coupe I would say um, does have four original Cadillac CTS uh, floor mats and this does like I said fold down for a pass-through in here is a brand new AC Delco battery uh, so you're gonna ask me about getting in the car so obviously there's no key locks on the side so if the battery is dead in the car or the fobs and you can't get into the car you take one of the key blades out to open this guy here will manually pop open your trunk and then this guy here which is indicating this doohickey will pop your door so you're in like Flynn take a look at that 3.6 under the hood I'll take it for a spin here there she is nothing crazy 
really nothing special to look at. I'm sure that aluminum bar there is some type of structural enforcement, but real clean nonetheless. One hood prop for probably an aluminum hood. Uh, real clean under here though, all the pla I mean, it's plastic, so it's clean. <laughs> all right, let's take her for a spin. All right, put her into gear and let's take her for a ride. Now, this is the performance package. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm not like up on my CTS knowledge. So let me know down in the comments if I misspeak or if I'm just totally irrelevant, but I don't really think the performance package adds much. I mean, I know it kind of changes the wheels um, from the base style wheels, um, but I know this obviously isn't a V, so it's not a, you know, crazy V8 with twin turbos, but it is a 3.6 direct injection V6. Um, that's got plenty of pep and get up and go. You know, I'm sure when they meant performance, it might've been exhaust tuning, maybe a little bit of um, ECM tuning to, you know, give this car. Ooh, and she handles well. She goes through the gears nicely, cruises up, we're doing almost 80 already. Coming onto the on-ramp hot and heavy. Brakes are nice and firm, very responsive. No pulsations or anything like that. And obviously those Michelin tires are nice and smooth. I uh, did do an alignment too. Uh, so for service for this car, it didn't need a ton, but wiper blades did an oil change. Um, I think we did air filters. Uh, and then also the tires. The tires were expensive. Michelin's, I believe, um, if I remember correctly, and I know they were correct, this is the car. Uh, when they put the tires on this car, Michelin was the only manufacturer to put tires or to make tires for this car. Look at this clapped out GMT 800 Escalade. It's probably what mine looks like going down the road. I shouldn't be making fun of them. Uh, heated steering wheel. I'm gonna set the cruise. Cruise set to 69. That works. Gonna come off the off ramp here. She handles real well. You know, this is what I'm not used to is being able to do an off ramp, you know, at 50 miles an hour and not have a, you know, waterbed feel roll to it uh, where I'm driving a Fleetwood Brome or a Lincoln Town car. Uh, so she does have that nice, you know, modern art and science, today's era Cadillac performance. Um, you know, she's not a cushy Eldorado or a Coupe de Ville from back in the day, um, but she is a real cool modern Cadillac. Uh, so that's it. That's that's the car. 25,000, almost 900 miles by the time I get back to the shop, uh, but just under 26,000 original miles on this one owner Cadillac uh, Coupe, de, uh, <laughs> Coupe de Ville, CTS Coupe performance package, all wheel drive. My favorite light where I'm always afraid to sit or someone's gonna slam in the back of me. Head over to my website, specialtymotorcars.net to check out all the still pictures. If you have any questions, give me a call, 978-930-1004 about this Cadillac. So the funny story that I'm gonna tell you about the key fobs. Now there's two key fobs. Where did I put them? Oh, they're right here. Uh, this is the original one with the Cadillac insignia. This is a new one that I got um, as a duplicate. Uh, when I bought this car, one car came with one key fob and the battery in this key fob was dead. So this car uh, was sold through the estate at an auction and I was able to bid on it and buy it at auction. Um, and when they auctioned this car off, they auctioned this car off as an inoperable non-running vehicle because the key fob battery was dead, they couldn't get the car to start. And because they couldn't get the car to start, they couldn't even get an odometer reading on the car. So I kind of bought this car blind, but running the Carfax, I could see consistent readings all the way up till 25,000 miles. So I had the utmost confidence that it was, being a one owner car and being at the estate uh, of an 82 year old or 83 year old woman, 
Um, so when they sold me this car, I have the original Connecticut title for this car, uh, where it shows it was bought brand new. It's a one owner car. Uh, her husband was the executor, so it comes with uh, executor paperwork. Um, but on the back of the title, they didn't know the mileage. So they, I believe they wrote either exempt or maybe I think it was odometer discrepancy or TMU. Um, so I know in some states they're exempt. over 10 years. I don't know, you know, the scenario, what, what to expect there, but that's the way I'm selling the car. The car is a 25,000 mile original car. Um, you know, the consistent service readings, like I said, 37 service records throughout the life of this car. Um, so I know the mileage isn't an issue. It just, honestly, they didn't know how to get the car to start because the fob was dead. In the pictures, it just showed where the odometer was, no key fob detected. Um, when I went and picked the car up, I put the key fob in that little hole and obviously the car, well, it needed a jump, but the car started. Um, and that's when I was able to find out how many miles are truly on this car. So down to the end, price of this car, I'm gonna be asking $17,995 for this beautiful CTS coupe. Like I said, service, one owner, ready to go, 26, 25, nine. I like going round and down. <laughs> a thousand mile car, all wheel drive, really beautiful example in crimson red. Uh, brand new Michelin tires, fully serviced, ready to go. Uh, this one is a get in and cruise or do whatever you want. Like I said, I'm not sure the type of person would buy this from me. Um, you know, it was owned by an 82 year old woman, not the type of Cadillac that I would have thought that an 82 year old woman would have owned. So I'm, I'm all for surprises. Give me a call, 978-930-1004.